Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here as always. I say that always, but because I do, it's because I really do appreciate you always being here. Now today we've got the Fera Designed The Wallet, and it is the wallet that kicked off their success, and it is on deck today, so let's get into it. We have a simple string and button closure envelope that it came in. No other information on it, it's nice and white. We open it up, here we go. This is called The Wallet. It's the wallet, not anything else. It's the wallet. It's a bifold, obviously, and it comes in the chestnut color. Farrah Designs. Tom Farrah is the designer and the owner and the creator and the marketer and the salesman, and he does it all. Good man. Let's take a look at this. Nice, thick weight of leather there. Looks like we have a different kind of leather on the interior versus the exterior. We'll talk about that. The sewing looks really good. Looks to be channeled, meaning it's not above the, the profile of the leather. Very nice. This money clip looks very intriguing. Feels good. And I'm sure Smells good. Oh yeah. Simple, but very elegant. Now to the feature review of the wallet from Fera Design. As we can see, there is no there are no features on the exterior of the wallet. We do have a nice stamp of Fera as well as this F on the exterior, denoting the maker. If we open this up, the interior, on either side we have a card slot here. It's a bit hard to see until I kind of break the seal there on both sides. So we have a card slot on both sides, one. And in the middle here we have a stainless steel money clip. And the stainless steel money clip reminds us of another wallet, the Mitchell Leather Wallet, very similar, a different kind of mechanism, but it's a very solid and integral to the wallet itself. We'll talk about that because it is, it does take a little effort of how uh, Tom puts this into his wallets. And with that, that really is a review of the features of the wallet from Vera Design. Now, before we get into the card and cash insertion test, I want to talk about a couple options of purchase for this wallet. Now, these are basically around currency. So they have two options for currency, different sizes here, one for US and Australian, another for British pound and Euro. The next option is whether you want to have this be hand stitched or machine stitched. Now for this wallet, I chose currency that supports US dollars, obviously, and machine stitch. You know, which you can see from this very tight uniform stitching that's here. And it, uh, you know, is ultimately very durable, but, uh, you know, said to be not as durable as a hand saddle stitched. However, you could argue that this kind of stitch that Tom puts in here is actually hand stitched. Let me show you this video really quick about Tom actually doing this. If you'll notice, it's a machine, but he does it by hand. So you can see right here, He's got this flywheel on the side of this machine. He's turning it as it's sewing, but it is a machine, but he's doing it by hand. So anyway, what makes this wallet quite unique here is that he actually puts a channel in the leather all the way down that he then sews into. And that might not be terribly unique, but he does that so that it gives greater durability because the, the thread is essentially countersunk into the leather here and would wear less aggressively than if it was above the leather. Now remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. That's all we do here, and that's all we really ever intend to do. So now let's get into the card and cash insertion test. You noticed I got four cards in there, five slips of cash. Uh, really, two I think is a good minimalist. Four is fine, like I had. The company recommends up to eight plus cash. Now, quality perspective, this is designed and manufactured by hand in Australia. This was the first item for Fera Design created that really started their company in 2005. This exterior is made from a full grain veg tanned cowhide. And this interior here, if we take a look at this really quick, is made from a full grain veg tanned kangaroo leather. 
This is kangaroo, very thin, it's very durable. Kangaroo leather is amazing for its durability in low weight, or basically thin cuts, like we see here. Really, it's the strongest for its weight in the world. And again, the hand-stitched version of this wallet, which this is not, but it, it, the one that is, that comes with a waxed Irish linen uh, thread. As mentioned, uh, this money clip here, which is really kind of cool how it, this is a seamless transition in how you put money in and out of here. Let me show you again. So once you open this up, this is a, a very thin stainless steel, so it won't rust money clip here. You can get into low level cash here, way in the back and say, I want to pull this out. That's fine. And it hasn't really disturbed anything by way of remaining currency in the clip. To put it back in, again, it just slides in very nicely and you're back to business again. That's just really cool. One thing to know about the leather as well is that the exterior leather here really is a thicker or heavier weight of leather, whereas the interior here of the, of the kangaroo is really thin. And that means that the stretching will happen here in this kangaroo side and won't really start to, pr to protrude on the exterior here, which means that over time, this will still look very nice, very clean, and even though it'll develop a wonderful patina, we won't uh, see a lot of distortion in this wallet. It's just great thought went into the design. Now this money clip again, if we look at how this is done up here, we can see that it is woven essentially into this leather. And I'm gonna take this currency out here so we can get a better look at it. And so it's woven through the back and of course on the interior here we see where we have the actual clip and it comes around and comes in here and you're thinking, well this might come out, but what uh, Tom does is he not only puts this uh, in and weaves it in, but then he soaks it in water and then it shrinks around it, which means this is going nowhere, but there are no mechanical fasteners on this. This is all just done through this one single piece of stainless steel and the properties of the leather itself. The wallet is priced for $75. This is for the machine stitched model, but can go up to 144 for hand stitched. Don't know about that one. Uh, from a usability perspective, due to the thicker exterior leather that we talked about in the interior, it really will take the cards easily. If you want to stretch this out and put up to eight cards in here, it'll function just fine. Now, with card insertion, it becomes easier and easier. And one thing that a lot of people don't understand about how wallets are designed, and in particular, most wallets that you see that are functional, you grab a card and you put it in the wallet this way. The reason why this happens, that cards go in this way, is so that they face inward. So when the wallet is closed, no cards are going to come out this side because they're captured on this side and they're open on this side. If you had cards that went in this way, then of course, when the wallet is closed, they could fall out. And so really, there's conscious design that have been around for ages regarding wallets. And that's just an obvious one. While a bit rigid due to this thick piece of ex exterior leather here, uh, it does feel great and it will sit good in your pocket, sat good in mine. And I think it's suitable for both a front and a back pocket. It measures three by 4.4 by 0.2 and it weighs 45 grams. Now the owner, Tom Farah, he ensures that these minimalist and elegant designs are really done with the best equipment. They've been designed and made with the same attention to detail, quality materials, and really his love of a classic utilitarian style. He also makes wonderful other uh, products like weekender bags, duffels, and a no rivet belt. You got that, you heard that. You need to go to a site and look how he does this no rivet belt. It uh, just uses the leather and and uh, and water that actually helps pull it together. It, it's fantastic. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of five, price of three for the machine stitching. The hand stitching one is a little high for me and would probably draw a one or a two score, but this is a three. For features, we have a three, it works as designed. Usability of four, very simple perception of four. And that gives us a final score of 40 out of 50. Hey, thanks for joining us. Please like this video, subscribe. We like to expand the Wallatopian community. So we will see you in the next review. Thanks, bye.